it's Michelle Grigsby and I am going to show you how to create a capture page using a plugin on my blog and this is something that I'm giving all my team members I'm giving you access to this plugin um, and I'm giving you access to this marketing system that I'm using I'm getting some awesome awesome results um, so far I've gotten like 370 opt-ins and um, I'm paying like three cents a click I think let me go to my ads here um, I'm paying three cents a click, three cents per engagement, and I have almost a 12% click-through rate, which is absolutely phenomenal for Facebook ads. And it's this ad where right here, I'm just using a captivating image and I don't have too much text on the image. So I'm definitely going by the rules in regards to having no more than 20% text on the image. You really don't need more than what I have on this one. And then I have a very, very simple, um, you know, a very, very simple sentence and then clicking through to my blog, my capture page. Now this, when I click on this, actually it's gonna go to this page right here. Now the reason why you wanna have a page that looks like this this is such a simple simple basic page and the reason why you want something like this is you don't want something that's too distracting you don't want anything with you know the the menu bar on the top or things on the sidebar you want to have their undivided attention and so you want to have a captivating title and then what i did is i personalized it with a personal video it's only a minute long and then um, I put some text here, and then this is the clincher. This is what gets everybody excited. This is what got them really, really excited to opt in. And the reason why is because I am offering a free sample, and I'm telling you, people are dying to get their hands on this product. And I do a drawing once a week, and I embedded my opt-in um, form right here from my Aweber account and I'll show you how I did all that and then I went ahead and I put some other pictures in case anybody wanted to scroll down and then I put the opt-in form at the bottom as well to the same the same campaign okay so this is a campaign now if you want to check out the page yourself it's just online with michelle.com forward slash instantly dash ageless dash two and I think I already also have onlinewithmichelle.com forward slash anti-aging will also take you to this page, okay? So what I'm gonna do now, guys, I'm gonna show you, okay, the first thing you have to do is if you already have a WordPress blog, all you need to do is go to your blog and all you need to do is just click underneath the, you need to log in and then you go to a new page. It's not a post, but a page. And the reason why is this plugin what it does is it overrides the standard um, settings for a page because if you look over here to the right under template you're going to scroll down and you these are different settings for the base the type of theme that I have on my WordPress blog but you want this to be a WP opt-ins page okay so I'm going to click on that so that it will look like this okay and don't confuse this with now, if you look over here on the left, this is the WP Optins plugin, okay? This is a premium plugin. I had to buy it, and all of my team members, I will and I will give it to you for free. If you already have a WordPress blog, I'll just give it to you. If you don't have a WordPress blog, then we'll set you up either um, with your own page or your own blog. Um, we'll talk about that. Just That's a totally different subject altogether, but, um, this is if you already know how to create a page, okay? If you already have a blog. And um, don't confuse this though with the Optins Form plugin. The Optins Form plugin is different. I do believe it's made from the same developer. The Optins Form is, is something that you can put inside your blog posts. And that is just a short code that you put in your posts and they can uh, subscribe to your newsletter. But this is the WP Optins. This is the page that I'm gonna be showing you, okay? So there's the page. So you're gonna add a new page, make sure it says WP opt-ins, and this is, this is, I'm just gonna show you how I created this, okay? This one, captivating title, what happens at 1.50 seconds will leave you. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna scroll down here underneath WP opt-ins, and I'm going to, the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is first change the table width to 900, and I do add a shadow, and I pretty much leave everything else the way it is. Don't do anything else. Headline text. What happens at 1.50 seconds 
will leave you dot 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 I believe is what I said okay all right so it's impact and I actually had this sized 36 48 was too big so I made I changed that to 36 impact are those is the big fat red letters because I have it red everything else I left it the way it is all right now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to click preview and see how it looks so far. You know what? I probably should name it too, shouldn't I? Test opt-in page. Okay. And this is what it looks like so far. All right. So there's the header. Now, what I'm going to do is I now have to go to the video. So I'm going to go to my videos and go to my videos find let me find the video real quick here it is right there so what you do is you can create a video I really highly recommend you have a video you can use mine if you're on my team okay but I'm gonna go to the video alright so I'm gonna click the play button all right, here's the video, and I'm just basically saying this is not a scam. This is an amazing product. It just got, it, we just launched it. Put in your name and email just right below the video if you're interested in the free drawing or whatever it is I said. And so you're gonna go down here and you're gonna click share. Now this is if you uploaded your own video, or if you wanna use mine, it's on my channel. All right, my channel is youtube.com forward slash Michelle from KC, the letter KC, okay? Um, or I'll put a link below this video so that you'll be able to go right to this, okay? So you're gonna click embed, all right? Now the, 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 uh, the measurements I used was the 560 by 315. And I do believe I showed the player controls, but I do not wanna show suggested videos when it finishes or anything like that. So I'm gonna grab this code okay so I'm gonna just copy it and I'm gonna go right to my page now what I'm gonna do is in visual mode right now there's nothing on here I'm gonna hit enter a few times and then I'm gonna arrow up all right and I'm going to um, just type X X X X X okay and then what I'm gonna do is what did I have below that my name is Michelle Grigsby and the video below is create our last international event. I'm just going to take this, all this right here, and I'm just going to copy it and see if it'll work. So what I want to do is I just click down here, hit control V, our latest launch product. Okay. All right. So I'm going to take this and I'm going to center it. Sorry, I'm doing that real quick. Okay. Now here is where the video is going to go. So I'm going to go to text mode and I'm gonna highlight over the XXXXXX. And I'm going to right click, make sure it's all highlighted, okay? So you're covering it all up. Cover the X's, right click, paste. All right, now here's um, a couple of things that I wanna share with you that's a little ninja tip. I wanna center this video, okay? Because right now, if I click preview, I don't believe this, the video is centered. See, it's over to the left. So here's a little code I want you to put in here at the very beginning. Just do the greater than and then type center and then less than. All right, and then at the very end, right over here, this is the end, okay? This is the end of the code that I pasted, okay? Because this is the text that I pasted. So this is the end of that code. And I'm gonna do the same thing, greater than. Then I'm gonna do a forward slash that forward slash means that it's the end of that frame center okay so what I just did is I told it I gave I gave it some code to center this video now watch what happens when I click preview all right another thing I'm going to do is where the URL is, where the www is, okay? Right after where it says show info equals zero, I'm gonna, before these quotations, all right? I'm gonna left click and I'm gonna type and auto play equals one. That's all I'm gonna do. Because what that's gonna do is it will automatically play 
this whenever I whenever somebody visits the page okay so let's see what it looks like now Hi everybody. how cool is that okay so I've got the text here our latest launch product I want that to be a little bit bigger like it was here and I believe that is let me go back to the visual mode okay I only go in text mode whenever I'm doing any kind of coding or or embedding a video that's pretty much the only time I ever am in text mode okay our latest launch product right there I'm gonna highlight that and I'm going to make that under font I'm going to click on impact and I'm going to make this size let's see 24 okay and I'm going to preview it. So sorry if this video is going to take a while, but trust me, this is well worth it. This is so worth it. Once you get this down, you could click several. This is Michelle Griggs. All right, here we have this so far. Okay. Now I'm going to get, you want to get the embed code of the other video, right? The one that really gets their attention. Okay. So I'm going to go down maybe one more. And then I'm going to type the XXXXX. Okay. Now I'm going to hit enter a couple times because I always want to make sure I have some space underneath in case I, you know, because I'm going to add some things underneath it. So then what you want to do is you want to grab the video that you want to put here and do the embed code again. Okay. So let me see if I can find that video real quick. There it is. Okay. So here's the video. I'm going to play. And I'm just gonna go, and I'll put a link to this video as well, okay guys? And I am going to click Share, Embed, and it's the 560 by 315. I'm not gonna autoplay this one or anything like that. I'm just gonna grab this code. I'm going to copy it, and I'm gonna go to the page, and where it says XXXX, I'm going to go to Text. Remember, you gotta go to Text, highlight the X's, and paste that code. Now remember, we need to center that. So I'm gonna go at the beginning. I'm gonna type greater than, or is that less? No, it's greater than, C-E-N-T-E-R. And then you have to end it with the other, with the greater than sign. And then at the very end, greater than, forward slash, C-E-N-T-E-R, less than. Oops, that was a typo. That would not have worked. All right, now let's see what it looks like. And I believe my top video is going to autoplay. Boom! All right, guys. So far, I've got we've got this created. Now, what we need to do is we need to embed. Okay. Now we need to add this text. Win a free sample. All right. This is all text. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to type this real quick so you know how I did it. So under the page, go back to the visual mode. Okay and I'm going to arrow down okay so let's see how much further below it is okay so it's like a space or two below all right now I'm going to center this I'm going to click align center and it says win a free sample or whatever you want to say Op, you know put in your information below but trust me Given them the option to win a free sample, it is so well worth it. I mean, you guys, as if you're a distributor, these are like less than three bucks a sample. It's like chump change, seriously, it's so worth it. So I'm gonna highlight that. I'm going to go to Font Family, Impact. I'm gonna make this one pretty big. I think I'm gonna make that one 36. And did I have an exclamation point? And a free, I had free, all caps with an exclamation point okay and i made it red so highlight that go to the color text color bright red all right enter now what i want to do is i'm just going to highlight this okay so i'm going to just click hit paste and i'm going to center it so i'm going to highlight it Click this align center and make this red like I did the other. And I made that bold. 
you know, you can play with it however you want, okay? Oops, I guess it was bold, okay. All right, now, okay, I'm gonna hit delete because I don't want any of that red, enter, enter, oh, hold on. I'm just arrowing down a little bit, okay. All right, now, guys, so I'm gonna have a couple spaces, arrow up a little bit, X, 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 okay. What I'm gonna do now is, I'm gonna do a separate tutorial on how to create this capture page, okay? But here is the capture page for this one right here. Oh, get free access. This is just an image, okay? So if you wanna grab this image, just hit, just right click, save image as, and, and save the image to your computer. And then all you do is you then go here. Actually, you know what? Enter, and I'm going to add that image, so add media and it's already in my media library, otherwise you would just click upload files, okay? So I'm gonna go to my media library, here's the image, free access, okay? So click on it, make sure that it is centered, full size, insert into page, and then whenever you click on, click on it once, and make sure you remove a link, because otherwise it will, it will, if they click on that, it will open up in a new page, okay? And then now what I'm gonna do is we're going to add the opt-in page, the opt-in form. So here is the form I've created, okay? So I am going to click Edit. And like I said, I'll do a tutor separate tutorial on this, but it's a very simple name, email, phone, no text spamming, I promise. And the reason why I want them to put in their phone number is because it's gonna be a lot easier for me to notify them if they won and obviously the button for them. And you can, I'll show you a, to solely, a totally separate tutorial on this if you want one to look kind of like that, okay? But all I'm gonna do is save the form. Just wanna make sure it's all saved. And I'm gonna go to publish. And I'm gonna click, I will install my form. Grab the raw HTML version. Okay, now, I'm going to I'm going to select all, so right click, select all, right click, copy, and what I'm gonna do is before I do that, I'm gonna hit enter a couple times, and I'm going to put insert, or excuse me, I'm going to add the horizontal line so that I know where I'm at because all this is going to look like is a bunch of code when you look at this in text mode, okay? All right. I'm gonna click on text. I'm gonna find the X's. If you can't find it, just go to Control F, type the X's a couple times, there it is. <laughs> all right, now hover over the X's and paste all that code in there. Okay, and then go back to visual. If you actually publish it, it will look much better. So let's see how it looks now. Let me go ahead and publish it. Since this is just a test sample, I'm gonna publish it. And I'm gonna show you the page after it is done saving. <laughs> and when that is done, I'm gonna click the view page. All right, so now I'm gonna click view page and let it open up. And scroll down. Oh. Okay, if that happens, this is what you do, okay? I'm going to go below this and I'm just going to highlight everything, okay, everything, and just delete it. Everything is deleted. I'm gonna enter a couple of times, okay? I'm gonna hit like four times. I'm gonna go up and I'm just not gonna do anything. I'm just gonna do the X's, okay? So that could have messed it up if I had some, some of that stuff below it. So I'm gonna go back, go back and get my code, okay? Copy, go to the page, go to text, all right? And I'm hoping that none of this code will mess it up, so I'm gonna find the X's, hover over them, highlight all of them, and paste that. I'm going to 
save it and see what it looks like. So now I'm refreshing it. There it go. Hi everybody, this is Michelle Grigsby. I'm from Kansas City. I'm here. Yeah, hey guys. Look, we have a capture page. And what I did is now the reason why I did not embed it now, okay, I could have gone into this. Now the reason why I embedded it in the body, okay, is simply because I wanted to add some things below it. I can't do that if I, if I, if you put it, if you actually, there's a place where you can put it down here, okay, opt in form setting. You can actually put it right here okay and watch what happens I'm gonna go ahead and add it there and what will happen is this the settings that I have here will override everything that I've done on my Aweber okay and when you click update you'll see how it looks but I will not be able to add anything below it and that's the reason why I actually embedded it in the body and let me just tell you if you have another website like a Weebly or a Wix hi everybody this is Michelle I've Grigsby. tried embedding um, the opt-in form inside the, the page of a body, a body of a page, and it doesn't work. But Hi everybody, this is Michelle Grigsby. See? I'm from Kansas City. I'm here in my home, and I'm really, really... This is what it would look like if I would have embedded it in that section, or if I would have added it in that section I showed you, okay? But I don't want that because I will not be able to put anything below it, and I want to put something below it. So I'm going to go back. So I want to use this, not that, okay? That's why I'm embedding the embed code, okay? So... I'm going to go back down and I'm going to delete the opt-in form code here. Okay, now there's situations when you will put your embed code here if you want an opt-in form to look like one of these examples right here, right, where you don't have anything below it, all right? But I have some things below mine, okay? I've got the opt-in and then I've got images. I've got images and then I've got the opt-in form again. So it's almost like a sales page for an opt-in. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to refresh. I'm going to make sure that I update my page. And then I'm going to refresh it so that it looks like how I want it to look so far. Hi, right. everybody. This is Michelle Grigsby. I'm so if you want to just leave it like this, then go for it, OK? But I am going to add a couple more things to it. So I'm going back into visual mode, OK? Go into visual mode, there's the information, go all the way down, all the way down so you're not interfering with any of the code, okay? And I am going to go ahead and let's see, um, right below it, here are some more amazing testimonials. So right there I'm going to do horizontal line and then here are some more amazing testimonials. All right, and I'm gonna bold that if you want, and then, oops, I don't want that. Okay, and enter, and then add media, and just start adding some of the images, you know? Just add some of the images. So, you know, go ahead and add the image, and I don't want it full size, I'm doing medium, Make sure that it's not too big of an image size or it could take forever to load, okay? Hit enter. Now guys, I recommend that you just center the pictures. Try not to line them up side by side because it could become a real challenge using, um, if you're not using columns, okay? We're not using columns. This is like one big column, okay? And then just add the embed code again for the opt-in form and you have a capture page, all right? How cool is that? All right, guys, I hope that helped you. And um, next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create the thank you page, which is just going to my blog. It's just a blog page. And that way they can also learn more about me by visiting my blog. So, um, yeah, so if you want to go ahead and opt in and see where it takes you, go for it. And uh, you'll see my method on how I am getting all these leads and... Um, and uh, lots of people that are very interested in this product. So I will chat with you later. If you have any questions, reach out to me. Cheers.